Uh, Miles, this is a this is a big stage for you. I know you're undefeated. Uh, just you, you know, you're you're going in in the deep water in this fight, so it's a real test for you with yep. Cerrone. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts on it is I, I'm, I'm as ready as I'll ever be in my life. You know, I, I, uh, you know, I, there's no reason to sit around and wait, or there's nothing more I can do to to be ready for this opportunity. So I'm just uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's it's in in a way it's a good position to be in because everybody is is looking at him and they're not expecting that much out of you. Yeah, it's a story of my life. I feel like um, you know he, he definitely is obviously the, the household name and and I expect most people to just cheer for him. You know, and uh, you know and, and that that brings challenges of its own. You know, all the pressure's on Donald Cerrone. I, I I really don't have anything to lose. I'm 26. I can I can afford to lose and come back. I can, I can do a lot of things. And uh, you know he, he's older and. Uh, uh, he's had this opportunity a lot of times, and all the pressure's on him. I really don't have anything to lose. This training camp for you, was it any different because of, maybe because of the spotlight that you'll be under? Did you do anything different? Uh, I mean, the training camp's usually the same. I kind of just adjust, you know, going through it, and, uh, you know, I talk to my coaches, and I, I got a really good relationship with my coach, my head coach, Eric Del Firo, and I just let him know how I'm feeling, you know, if I'm, if I'm feeling really burnt out or if I'm feeling you know, really grind it down, we, we adjust and, uh, you know, maybe take a day off or maybe do an extra training session, uh, you know, on a day I wasn't going to have training. Kind of just right. go back and forth with my coach. I wanted to ask you about that. It might seem crazy, but your name, Miles Jury, I'm always saying it sounds like an actor's name or something. Like you should be, uh, you know, maybe back in the 40s or else be, write a screenplay or something. Yeah. But uh, who were you named after? You know, honestly, this is what my dad told me. Uh, he was gonna name me Kyle, and when he was going to the hospital, he got in the the elevator. And when he got in the elevator, one of his buddies was there, and his buddy was just like, "Hey, uh, I just had a kid." And my dad was like, "Oh, congrats!" And you know, my, my wife's in, in labor right now. I'm about to go, you know, see my kid and stuff. And, and my dad was like, "What would you name him?" And he said, "Kyle." And he's like, "My dad wanted to name me Kyle, but his yeah. buddy already named his son Kyle." So, so basically, what what he thought about right there is, he said his car broke down at 13 Mile, and it was in Madison Heights. Which Madison Heights, Michigan. So he thought Miles. So he saw maybe Miles would be a good name. And my middle name's Madison. So Miles Madison Jury. That, that's how I got my name. Well, it's that's what great, my dad tells me. It's a great name, man. You know Thank now you. now it's a, it's a name to put on a marquee. So now it, it's up to you to, to to keep rolling, right? Yeah, definitely, man. Always is. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Much uh, continued success. You're undefeated. Keep it on blemish. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. All right, Miles.